Good morning, good day, good evening. Mary and the Barbarian here. We got a great shave for you today. We're going to be using Murphy McNeil Nade. Nade. However you say it. That, that's what we'll go with. Guys, I have had a few drinks. We are going to have a drink, so if you don't enjoy videos where someone has a beer while shaving, this is your opportunity to tune out. I do know some people don't like it. Um, but we're going to be using from Tailgate Brewery, Irish Red. Um, I do believe this is 5.5% alcohol. I don't know anything else other than it's a traditional Irish Red. We're going to crack it open. They can it there. Um, this is where we're having the meetup, May 18th, for anybody who wants to show up. I don't know how far everybody is, but I mean, if you want to hang up, hang out, it's not a YouTuber meetup. It's it's a it's a community meetup. I, I want to meet up with people, have a good time, have a few drinks. Um, if you want to bring something to Piff, we can like put it on the table and people take what they want. More than welcome by all means. I'm kind of pouring it fast because I've seen where it's better. if you let a lot of the carbonation out before you drink it. Which makes sense. I don't know why I threw that in there. It's going to have to go in the recycling can anyways. All right, guys. Irish red, look at that. By the way, look how dark of that red is. I was drinking their black lager. Um, Patrick, if you get the chance... You're in Texas. I know they'll have it there. Shiner Bohemian Black Lager is awesome. And this Black Lager at Tailgate Brewery, very reminiscent of a Shiner Bohemian Black Lager. Really good. The guy actually said a couple of weeks ago, someone from Texas came in and said it was really close to that. So he went and picked up a six pack of it and he goes, that's high praise. That's a good freaking beer. Anyways, we're going to tub load. Uh, base ingredients and scent notes will be up. I think it's freesia and some something fruity. Can't remember. Don't don't expect me to remember, guys. We're going to be using this razor. Um, what's his name from Stubble and Steel has sent me. Um, the inspector was doing in a pass around. It's the everyday razor, and I'll kind of show it to you in a minute. But since I'm not going to remember. I looked it all up. We're not going to remember. Um, oh, look, man, we're losing hair in our TRC like Galaxy Synthetic. I like, have y'all noticed I own some TRC brushes? And it, it's, it's not like I get a discount. It's not like anyone sent me a free TRC brush. There's just some that I like, and the price isn't bad. And it's like, ah, why do you got to be so damn affordable? Anyways, we're just loading up. Probably way more than I need. Um, this is the Aeon base. This is like not a florally, but not totally fruity, fresh, nice scent. And since I'm drinking a beer, guys, you know, we're going to tag DK down in the description. Guys, look in the description. Um, if you want to know what I'm using, you want to know where you can find it. If I know where you can find it, I guarantee there's a link for it in the description. Um, if I talk about someone's channel, uh, not all the time, but a lot of the time, I will put their channel link down there below. Like, we will put... Stubble and Steel. I'll put him down there. Matt1989. I just watched him. You know, um, I'll mention channels. Y'all go check them out if you want. I'm not telling you you got to watch them. Just telling you there's there's other uh, YouTubers out there. Wet Shavers. Putting out content. So, you know, there's Mikey Shaves. Um, Y'all know about Randy Shaves? I'll, I'll, I'll put him down there too. I'm sure y'all know about Randy Shaves. 
Have y'all heard about that up and coming YouTuber Ken Surfs? <laughs> Oh man. I would say above medium in scent strength. We're going to add a little bit more water. Still kind of pasty. Still kind of pasty. Paint it in. We're not going to go totally translucent with painting it in because I have already started the lathering process. But we're going to add quite a bit and then we're going to try to froth it up a little. Not that I want huge peaks, it's not my thing. But after painting it, I like to agitate it and make sure that we get, you know, proper hydration throughout the lather and not just on the surface look shiny. There we go. We are in the work attire still just because like I, I want to knock this out, do the shave, finish a beer, and get my shower in, kind of pass out. We'll see if we get the uh, stuff done. Maybe I'll put this video out in the morning. So if I put up the stuff for the razor, here's the magnetic base plate. It's a two-piece razor. Um, every day on the side, honeycomb on one, like a cutout notch on the other. I don't understand these. Because I don't know who holds their razor like this. You kind of hold it like this. But anyways. Bic is one of the recommended. We'll use this razor a second time. Um, I've never liked Bic blades. And I know there were other recommendations. But the fact that you recommended Bic. It goes challenge accepted. Don't ever recommend a Bic. We'll see how it goes though. So we're going to load it on. Oh, There we go. So it does like want to magnetize and then you scoot it into place. You'll see how it's holding on there. Bic does have some uh, glue dots. Not just two, has four. And you take it. Holds on really stiff, guys. I mean, it's a strong magnet. Stallion used this. We'll link Stallion. Inspector did the pass around. We'll link the Inspector. Stallion is Anthony Esposito, for those of you who do not know. This side is the more aggressive. This is the less aggressive. I did shave this morning, but we will go with the more aggressive. I know the less aggressive side has neutral blade exposure, 0 0.000000 blade exposure. Yeah, making sure we're using the more aggressive side. Well, that felt super smooth. Really did, surprised. little stinging in this area might have gone a little too fast but it's also weird trying to get my grip on this not griping just things i'm noticing That's the problem. I flipped on the frickin' this side I was using the less aggressive. 
So that's my beef with like a double comb. And I should have mentioned it when I used the Lupo. Um, Sufferton even admitted we had this conversation before the shave. He, uh, he bought a mystery box from a certain YouTuber that was thinning their den. Not me. And they included the double comb with the handle mainly because they're buddies and he was just getting rid of stuff and the double comb man I kind of stress about it because like okay I'm only going to use this side and okay now do I need to flip the blade make sure I'm using you I normally do not care about like Do I use equal sides of the razor and the right amount of blade on each side and like all that crap? But like, if I'm only using the aggressive side, then I'm like, oh crap, I gotta flip it and then I'd have to keep track. OCD would kick in. So this side we're gonna go aggressive against the grain because this is where I was using the non-aggressive. Oh, see we did nick here and we nicked here. And if the inspector doesn't mind, I will be using this razor next shave. Mainly because I want to put a blade I know I like in there. Yeah, rough rough see I was talking to Sefferton and we were just talking sorry I keep saying Sefferton I could just tell I was talking to a buddy but anyways we were discussing and like I'm the last one to notice when it's a bad blade because I'm like oh and I switch out put in a different blade next time and I don't really realize that that shave felt a little rough because the blade was a little rough and even though it feels smooth on the mild side, when I go to the aggressive side, it's feeling pretty rough. But we'll get a shave up, see? You got some blood. We'll do another shave with it tomorrow. I'll probably use those Wilkinson Sword because I do like those. Or I could switch to Wizomet. Either one, those Wilkinson Sword Saloon Pack. So pulling it off wasn't that difficult and it stuck to the top cap rather easily. So, see how easy it is to pull off. Not hard to undo. It's just, it's not my thing. The price is $50 right now. It says introductory rate. So, you know, if this does intrigue you and you like it, I get on it now. I'll put the link in the description below. But it's like $45.99. So $50. It's not a bad price. Aluminum CNC machine. The tolerances, if you go back and look, I'm going to put up the whole thing. The tolerances are really nice. Um, high quality work. Anyways, know the drill. Rinse up. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. Decent shave. Um, did have to use the alum. We're going to use a different blade tomorrow. I do not like big blades. I think that was the issue. Um, I threw it in because it was recommended. And honestly, I hadn't used blade big blades in a couple of years. And the way I felt was, you know, maybe my inexperience led me to believe I didn't like something because my technique was shot or something like that. And... We bend that blade. It's done. We're not putting in anything else. And we're going to put a blade we're more familiar with in the next shave with this. I mean, I think it's a good price. I think it's probably going to be a smooth shaver with a different blade in there. But, uh, I don't know, man. Just don't know how I feel about it yet. We'll, we'll give you updates in the next video. We did use Nade. Strong scent. Kind of fruity, not too much. 
Got that freesia smell. You know what freesia smells like if you're from the 90s. Um, really nice scent. It's not bad. Price point is excellent. $14.99 is what I believe this soap is going for. I would recommend it if that's your thing. Um, I'm keeping the soap. I have the soap. Here we are. I tub loaded it. So it's going to stay in the den. Um, TRC brush. Really cool. I think this is a G5C knot in there. No, 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 no. This is the AK7. AK7. That's what it is. And we're going to follow it up with the matching splash. It's not matching. Why did I say matching splash? That's... Anyways, Barbus Prestige. Why did I say matching splash? Is that just what I say now? And, like, I just go to and I just say, like, God. Like, anyways. Example, at work, at UPS, when I talk to people, I will say, hey, how are you doing today? Sometimes three or four times because I'm just going through the motions. That's just what I normally say at that moment. That's a nice scent. Prestige is good, active is better, but I was like, I always use active, so let's use prestige this time. It's a nice scent. If I can find it anywhere, I will link it in the description below. Like I said, guys, if you're interested, not everything linked in the description below is an affiliate. Um, it's just really there to help you find the items if you're interested. Um, I do appreciate everybody that subscribed, everybody that watches, everybody that watches and makes it this far. Like, I greatly appreciate it. My channel has grown. I was around 850 around July last year, and I'm up over 1,100 subscribers now. So I couldn't do that without everybody's support, everybody liking the channel, you know, giving me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that noti bell, and we will catch you next shave.